Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have a thought about breaking habits and changing habits and resolving the, um, the samskaras that are involved in ha habits or mental tangles that are involved. And I got this idea from Peggy Black. <clears throat> she was talking recently on a um, conference call uh, about sugar and the addiction to sugar. And she said that if we would, instead of eating sugar, if we would, when we get the urge to eat it, if we would just take a moment and explore the underlying emotion, then uh, we could resolve the emotion and, and then break the habit of eating sugar. And it, it occurred to me that this, might, this advice might work for just about any, any habit we have, whether it's acted out on the physical plane, or if it's just a recurring, say, fantasy, or um, a, re a recurring emotion, a negative emotion that recurs. Of course, the positive ones doesn't really matter. So, so what I'm thinking I'll do, and I challenge you to take up this this um, meditate this special spiritual practice as well, is maybe begin to like write down or journal the habits of emotion that I have and especially the habits of recurring habits of closing my heart and like the, the steps that are involved in it um, because when the heart is clear and open when it can stay open all the time then it's like a whole different universe out there the reality that is expressed through an open heart is completely different uh, I guess because the newosphere is so tamed and changed, it's very different from the reality that expresses itself with recurring uh, patterns of closure of the heart and, of course, any kind of emotional pattern. So, so I like to give a for instance here that I noticed on the Claire plane. This is sort of the chicken approach because it's somebody else. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm driving at the same time. I just don't want to forget. Today is the Lion's Gate, and so many different things are coming through that it's hard to keep keep up with all of it. In fact, I just forgot something important, so I thought I'd better get the thing before that down, and that's this thing. So, um, so I wanted to talk just for a minute about somebody else's recurring heart pattern that I discovered. Uh, just today, actually, in the middle of the night, I think. And it, it, it's very deep-seated, and it's based on a, a, a terrible soul-wounding experience that they had long ago, but it's typical of almost everybody on Earth today, so uh, I thought I'd bring it up. And, it, and, and these are all deep, deep, deep subconscious thoughts that occur one after the other, along with energetic changes in the uh, dilation of the spinning front chakra of the heart. And, and, and beneath it is a repressed memory of the event that was so traumatic. So, which I'm not sure what it is, because the thing of it is, when we have, say, at a very early age, often the age of two or earlier, we have some pattern installed in our heart. And then after it, constantly, we repeat that pattern uh, on the astral or emotional body plane. And then sometimes when the pattern becomes very strong and under special trigger event situations, we act out the pattern somehow and never really know why we, we do that. So in tracing back these things on the Claire plane, the Claire audience plane, I, I, I can trace back for this person several events that were acted out all with the same theme of this, this um, heart emotional pattern. I hope I'm being clear. <laughs> so so let me give you the pattern and, and not the event. Um, first, the person thinks, they think with a certain wistful openness of heart, they think, I love, I love you more than anything. Now, somebody told them that when they were really young. Maybe their mom told them that. I love, or their nurse, I love you more than anything, right? And then they, they get the feeling, 
that'll never happen to me. That's just a fleeting feeling they get and their heart starts to close. Then their heart hardens. It likes, it's like it stops, the spinning stops for a moment in, a, in an undilated way, in a closed down kind of circle and it stops, it crunches to a stop and they, in their mental minds they say, we have no relationship. And it all happens super fast, so fast that it's very hard to catch. So we have to be paying very close attention to our, to our, our emote, the, actually the action of our hearts or our emotions, as Peggy Black says. It. Each person has a different handle or our clear hearing. You know, so, so in other words, each e energy body of the human being, because the heart is central to the whole thing, each energy body of the human being uh, reflects in some way this kind of soul trauma patterning. And uh, each person on earth has some key to, the, to this pattern so that they can unravel the soul wounding and heal, the, heal their hearts. So you may be clairaudient, you may be especially sensitive to your emotions, you might be um, clair kinesthetic, sensing like the energy pattern, the energy flow of your electromagnetic field and the chakric electromagnetic flow. But there, before heaven, there will be some key for you to, to unravel the situation. I hope that helps a little. I always, I always feel much more clear about things when I get at least one example. Okay, well here's just one more. This is another person on the clear plane, and uh, it's the way that, uh, like a, me a mental picture or audiovisual clip, is it like embedded in uh, the trauma of soul wounding at a very early age or some terrible incident that happens. Uh, in this case, I, I'll tell you, I found out what the, um, the instance was, or purported instance. <laughs> so this person, when they started to open up their hearts, this is characteristic of man very often, but this is a specific instance. When they start to open up their hearts, they get a terrible feeling of calamity, and uh, then their hearts slam closed uh, again. And so, not, and they're still spinning, but spinning in a very small circumference, you know, the, the, the vortex. So, um, so one time I tried, uh, there was like an energetic connection between my heart and theirs, and I tried expanding and dilating my heart chakra when theirs started to close down. And it, what flew up immediately was an audio-visual clip of a white 16-wheeler, uh, that's a kind of truck, that, that was pulled up on somebody's lawn and uh, and uh, the, the doors flew open all the doors flew open of the heart of the uh, of the truck and and it and so that was the, the clip and then I asked the person about it and they said um, that that they had experienced uh, the, the seeing a, an accident like that where a, a 16 wheeler just lost control and and drove straight up onto somebody's lawn and mowed down some little kid, which was apparently a little boy who was apparently the same age as this person at that time. So, if you think about it, four doors or two doors open on the on the on the truck kind of means that the heart is all like um, you know, there are all those four chambers of the heart, and and it's the feeling that the heart is broken or broken open, or the four chambers have stopped working. It's like, uh, you know, like blowing out a tire on a freeway, the feeling that, um, that the heart will break if the heart opens up. So there's another instance. <laughs> uh, yesterday I came across a visualization to help me open my heart without actually having to be in relationship with anyone else, which is, has been the typical way on earth of doing it. They're pretty much standalone units here on earth. and. Um, we have the ability to connect with the stars and with the earth and with all creation all by ourselves and to open our hearts immensely wide, but we're just not used to doing it anymore. So um, we're used to c relating through groups and through co communities and through family units. And those things are all going by the wayside right now. So um, the whole thing is, how are we going to relate to the all? in service to others, all others, to the all. How are we going to open our hearts that much, you know? 
And so I came up with this visualization. I hope you like it. It worked pretty well for me. I was talking to my navel point, the center of will, the third chakra, old style. And I said, open up, open up my heart right now. Open up my heart right now. And I imagined the energy of, of the third chakra going up and, and opening up the heart. And I always say that it was so happy to have something to do, you know. The third chakra is all about doing things in the world and it wanted some work from me. And so it didn't want to stand on the sidelines with regard to that heart thing. So over and over again, I said, open up my heart right now. And what do you know? The energy of the third uh, chakra, the will center, uh, sort of smoothed out and, and there were quite a few um, mental tangles that were erased as the energy flooded up from my third uh, chakra to my fourth chakra, my heart chakra, and, 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 and my heart chakra opened up. Kind of cool.